Okay, Mr. Bellion back. Really, we're going to push it this time, people. Bellion back, part three of 3D modeling is basically going to our chest set next, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these, and I'm going to put a layer here, and I'm going to hide it. Bye-bye from view. See ya. Put the grid back on, and we're actually going to hit the chest piece. This is what we've been talking about, right? Okay, so first thing first, we're going to look in our drawing, and we're going to say there's a cylindrical shape here. Okay, so we're going to start with cylinders. We'll get to this one at some point, okay, to the pond, but we will do, I will work on the castle, the rook. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. All right, back to modeling again. Stay in modeling. Stay in Maya Classic for now. If that all changes, sometimes you may need to do this. You may need to go to file. Uh, where's my preferences? Sorry. Right, I'm, in, I'm in the apple. It goes up here somewhere. So preference. Let's go to the runner, dude. And I'll just come over here, edit, and then if something looks weird, just go restore to default settings. Okay, save and that kind of thing. Now, here's three things. I just press one, then the other, then the other. I want to stay in this one. Okay? The channel box, not the attributes. Attributes, I'll explain all that in a second. So we're going to get a cylinder. Here's my cylinder. Love it. Look where it is. X, Y, and Z at zero. Okay? W for move. Lovely. So let's find out how this was made, okay? Not how or the parameters, right here. If you click on poly cylinder down here, it says radius of one, height of two, subdivision axis 20. So subdivision basically means all these cuts, okay? The more cuts you have, the smoother the object is. For example, if I change this to seven, look at the difference. Oh boy, look at that, eh? How cool is that? So we'll leave it at 20, all right? Two, zero, enter, done. Okay, so I'm going to make a cylinder. I'm going to bring this up. Well, hang on. Let's just leave it here. What does it say? Height is 2. So if I go to height, uh, if I move up on the Y by, by 1, it's on the ground. Do you see that? Look at that. That's nice. Okay, so here's my first piece. Height of 2, radius of 1. So what if we say height of 4, 5, doesn't matter, or even 3. Let's go to 3. Make our lives simple. I like working in odd numbers, 1 and 3. So if I go to 1.5 here, it'll be right on the grid. Look at that. There, right on the grid. Okay? All right. So the midpoint is 1.5. The height is 3. The radius is 1. So this is 2. Beautiful. So what I'll do, uh, uh, am I going to do something? What else is there here? Subdivision height. So there's no cuts over here. So watch what I'll do. I'll add a cut of, let's say, 4. You know what that? See that, what that happened there? So I'll just do three for now. Keep it simple. Very simple. But the, the thing that I'm looking for, since I am making a chess piece, right? And we have a picture of one of these layers. Uh, let me put the light on here. Okay. So we know there's some cuts up there and there's a, there's a hollow. There's kind of, think of it as a castle where your soldiers are up there looking, right? There's a deck. There's a landing place. Right now, we don't have anything here. What I need to do is add some cuts over here. Okay, so it says subdivision caps. Watch this. If I change to three, look at that. There's three cuts in here, three divisions. Isn't that nice? That is nice, in my humble opinion. Now, uh, if I go to two, let's see if there's a difference. Two, boom, one cut only. Okay? So you decide. Should we go with two? Let's keep it simple to two then. Now, look how cool this is. This is kind of like from before. You've learned this, but now we're actually going to apply it. If I double-click on the edge... One edge, the entire circle, the entire uh, loop of edges is selected. That doesn't normally work with faces, okay? So if I right-click here and go to face, if I, uh, d if I just double-click here, no go. The whole object is selected. However, if I hold uh, shift and double-click here, um, the entire loop is selected, okay? So you'll get that. I'll review that in a second. So I'm going to double-click on one of these edges. So notice what I'm doing here again. I'm going to hold alt. Left click, spin around, so I'm seeing the top. I'm not doing it like this, guys. You can't sometimes see everything, so you need to spin around so you're in the view. So if I double click here, that's cool. Press R for scale and scale out from the center and do this. So we're going to make that wall around our castle, which is technically a look in chess. Pardon me, I'm going to pause this for a second here. Uh, somebody's at the door. Okay, pause. For okay, I'm back at it again. So here we are. Uh, now, you notice that this looks kind of interesting, right? So I can scale in this way, scale out, make the wall thick, that kind of thing. 
This is really cool too because you can 3D print this uh, model afterwards if you have time and have a great that rotation. So check this out. Right click face. There it is. I'm going to hold shift. Always stay in W and I'm going to move one over. See you highlight one over. Hold shift. Double click. Let go and the entire loop is selected. I'm going to do it again. Click once. Do not double click here on its own. That's not what I said. Click once. Let go. Hold shift. Double click on next door. You see the plus. Perfect. We got the loop. Now here's a new tool for you guys. Extrude. Isn't that nice? Spin around until you see the blue axes. Look how nice the blue axes is. So here comes my wall of my castle like that. Isn't that nice? So there it is. I'm going to let go. I'm going to come out. Normally when you get more comfortable, you won't have to deselect by clicking out. So I'm going to go to face again, and I'm going to actually select every second one by holding, clicking once, holding shift, multi-select. That's what I'm doing. Oh, look at this. Something happened. I got too excited. So I'm going to slow down, and I don't want to select anything other than the faces on the top edge here. Okay, I'm going to... Here we go. One more. Beautiful. I've got every second one spinning around, making sure there isn't anywhere else selected. Inadvertently, nothing else is selected. So I will use the same tool again, extrude. And I'm going to bring this up, and I'm going to extrude. There it is. See? This is cool. Look at that. We've got our wall up. You decide how high you want to go. It is totally up to you. Okay. So in order to get out of this, because we are under the hood, we select the fa uh, face, right? We're going to go to object and get out. All right, beautiful. The next thing I want to do is maybe select the, the, the loop of edges here and maybe taper it in, okay? So if I right-click again and go to edge, double-click, press R for scale, and remember, spin around until you see the inside cube, which is yellow, like that. This goes out. Like this goes in. I'm just left clicking and dragging. That's all I'm doing. I can press W. And I can come up here. Watch, watch. This is going to be a little much inside it. No, I just want it taper like that. Nice, eh? Okay, so here again, I'm going to double click on this one. And w. And I'm going to bring it down. So what I want to do at this point, I'm looking at this all. So not bad. Proportionally, I'm not totally happy. It's okay. I'm going to come and extrude from this, um, from this zone here. Right click, face, click once, let go, hold shift, come next door, double click, spin around, press extrude, this guy here, lovely. And remember, always on the blue blue axis. Yes, look at that, that looks good. Love it. Okay, that looks cool. So now I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to, I want this to be taller. Okay, so I'm going to go to object, get out. I'm comfortable spinning around, looking pretty good, and I'm going to get a little creative here. A couple things I want to do. I want to make this stem here, the stem here, to be taller. Okay, so I'm going to go right click right now. I'm going to go to vertex. It's going to light up. Boom, these little dots. So I'm going to select all these dots. Marquee select. That means you click on one side, and make this invisible selection box, and then press W. Watch what I'm going to do. On the y axis, I'm going to make this taller. That's a castle. That's a tower, I mean. It's not a castle, but you get one. Okay, right click, object mode, get out. Excellent. So, a couple more things I'm going to do. I'm going to right click here on the edge, double click, and I'm going to bring this down just a bit. See? That looks a lot better. I'm thinking of having a collar here. Um, I don't have any references open right now. Uh, what do we got here? Nope, wrong app. Let's get out of that. Close all. Let's go to Firefox somewhere around here. Chess pieces. Okay. So some are bulging out here, that's a style, and there's nothing much happening here. And this one, this one's kind of interesting. It's got some loops, some rings here, ring there. Okay, nothing too exciting. Okay, so let's get out of this. Let's add a ring in here, okay? So here's, now I'm going to do something new. New territory, pay attention here. At this point, there are no more cuts. You do not go back and add cuts in here and all that kind of stuff. Don't touch this anymore. This is gone. Bye-bye. So what I should do maybe is just delete the history and center, okay? Just so I clean this up. Nice. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to add a cut. One of the most dangerous tools, mesh tools, insert edge loop. Right here, mesh tools, insert edge loop. So I'm going to click here. And, and basically the way it works is you take 
uh, a line which is really it's perpendicular to whatever you select so since I'm vertical the perpendicular means go horizontal so check this out I'm gonna click over here and I'll make another one click and drag click and drag somewhere here okay done W you got to press W to get out or else this tool loves cutting forever okay base click once hold shift and double click there you go is that nice beautiful now we're going to extrude we're going to extrude and you remember spin around until you see the blue uh, axis which is here or press this button and it centers it okay and i'm still going to go from the blue axis oh that did not work Brian. let's back up the bus here for a second let me just select this again hold it double click and extrude i'll stick to my blue axis it will work because that is perfect there we go. that's nice i like this a lot okay there's my piece now i'm going to come in here and i'm going to go to edge and i'm going to double click on the edge w and i'm going to have uh, the ring come down a bit like that okay cool here's something a little <clears throat> you don't you, this is good enough as far as i'm concerned this is fantastic okay one thing i'll do is i'll make this more of a crown what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all the inside edges here on the balcony parapet another word uh, click click make sure we're in the right place click and here we go i can press w and i'll move i can bring it up oh look at that we did an extra piece there so we go control z back it up somewhere in here i have more than one edge there it is right here i see it hold shift d select minus okay so far so good nothing out nothing extra has been selected if it is just deselect and do it all over you can do it like that or in the rings tower put a ball on there be an eye the old seeing eye or you can just bring it down like this okay this is pretty cool okay so this piece is done object we are finished here i'm going to check the time here let me just do it again 11 minutes 55 seconds okay so that's good enough right here you've done it uh, it looks good next next tutorial i'll add color maybe a window that kind of stuff all right thank you valiant out this is part three you're actually making the chest for the first time see ya